Hello and welcome to our first Aegon video. Uh, Aegon is, at its core, a game about heroes in ancient time. If you were looking for a RPG that is centered around Greek mythology, this is the game for you. Aegon, like I said, at its core, is a game about heroes. You are on your way to a fantastic homecoming. Your name will be forged in legend, and your character will be spoken about for years to come. Aegon uses divine favor and pathos. So divine favor uh, comes from the gods and goddesses, and pathos comes from uh, the the inner workings of your character, their, their very willpower. We'll actually cover both these terms at a later date, uh, but it is important to know that every aspect of character creation matters in Aegon, and it is inspired by Greece and Greek myth, but it takes place over a couple of islands that are surrounded by a mist. When you're playing Aegon, it's important to remember that these islands are important. Uh, your group can pull these islands out of misery or ha let them sink back and further in despair. During the course of this video for Aegon, I will cover what is Aegon, key terms in Aegon, what does play look like, and what can you expect? And we're going to go over a little bit of character creation. So what is Aegon? Aegon is fast. If you're coming from 5th edition, you're going to notice this right away. Uh, the combat in Aegon is quick. Character creation is quick. The adventures are as quick as you make them. Uh, what's important about Aegon, though, is you don't get bogged down by all of the rules. You create characters that are quote-unquote simple, or uh, they are defined by a simple set of traits, and you can make them as complex as you'd like from there. Aegon is good for new players and new Strife players uh, because you can learn just by playing the game. Uh, there's only one Aegon rulebook. Uh, it's only... Uh, I think 150 pages at most, including a character sheet. And you can actually teach this game to new players just by having them go through the motions. And each adventure requires little preparation. Whip up an island, bada bing, bada boom, you're done. Uh, you do have to go through and set up contests and things like that, but it, it's not as involved as maybe creating an entire continent or if you're that daring, an entire planet. And games revolve around a trial. And trials are complete by one role, and that role determines whether you succeed or fail. So while you're playing the game, there are two main roles. First, we have your players, and they will be playing as heroes. Uh, these these her heroes are on a glorious quest. Uh, you are being forged about in legend. Uh, you are on a glorious homecoming, and you want to make this character larger than life. Give them faults, bonds, ideals, and make sure that they can work within a group of people. Uh, the best way to think about your party is like a sports team. Uh, you will win together, you will lose together. In this case, you will continue your adventure together or die trying. Then there's the Strife player. If you're coming from 5th edition, Pathfinder, or any anywhere else, this is just the game master or the dungeon master. You're the guide to the game. Think of yourself like a referee or a narrator. You are doing the presenting. You will control and portray the gods and monsters, all of the NPCs and the trials. Uh, you make the island, you create the contest. That's all on you. This is 
the, the role of the Dungeon Master in other RPGs. There are aspects that you can do as a group when creating adventures and such, uh, but for the sake of this video, we are going to consider that uh, you are doing all of the creating yourself. So what does playing the game look like then? I divide Aegon into a couple of phases. Phase 1 consists of players creating their character, filling out the character sheet, and choosing all of the options on the character sheet when you start play. Uh, you would also include your character introductions here and create bonds and ideals. Then you would arri arrive on an island and take part in a contest. Every game of Aegon has a contest when you arrive at an island. After this conflict, you would then go into the exploring phase. Uh, you'll explore the island, uh, see what it has to offer, and then when that is done, you face off in a glorious battle that determines the destiny of the island. In Aegon, islands can slip further into misery or your group can pull them out of despair and, I guess, save them. Your success or failure determines the fate of an island. And then we would enter phase two. Uh, do not skip these steps. They make the game come, come alive. Uh, the first thing that you're going to do in phase two, uh, and this happens after your heroes leave the island, whether they succeed or fail, uh, you are going to record what happened on that first island in an ongoing tale. So think of this uh, like you are going to scribble down a couple of points about what happened on that island uh, and make sure that you, you give your Strife players some time to do this. There's actually aspects that go into travel that we're going to cover in a later video. And then once the game is finished, so the game ends if you all die or your character reaches their homecoming. Uh, but once that happens, uh, you become a legend and all of your accomplishments, failures, and everything else you did come together to create that legend. Uh, that's why I suggest you really do write down what happened on each island. It will make the game come alive and give you a lot more to work with. the dice. To play this game, you're going to need a 1d4, a 3d6, a 3d8, a 2d10, and a 1d12. Those numbers in front of the d just signify how many dice of that type you will be using. So 3d6 is three six-sided dice. Your hero is made with these dice, and I would highly suggest the Strife player have as many dice as possible. If your group can't get access to these dice, there are online dice rollers and Discord bots that will help you out. So now we're going to cover the first part of character creation. Uh, it's important to note that uh, character creation happens throughout the entire book, so I'm going to break up the character creation segments accordingly. This is the Aegon character sheet. A link to the form fillable sheet will be in the description box below. You can also find a sheet on the website, which is also in the description box below. So while you're creating your character, uh, it's important to realize that all of these aspects that go into creating a character matter a lot. The first thing that you're going to do is decide your descriptor. I chose hot-headed and your descriptor starts at a d6. You can see the dice off to the side on the right next to domains. Then you're going to choose a name. I chose Adora Windfang for the sake of creating a character for this. Uh, your name is crucial. Choose it wisely. 
Your name will live on beyond your character. Uh, as you, as you uh, accumulate what's called glory, uh, your name will grow in potency. And we're, I'll go over this a bit later. Then you are going to want to pick your lineage. I chose Ares, who is he, him. It does suggest that you include the, the pronoun of the, the lineage. Uh, I picked Ares, but you can choose like a important parent who also has a legend written about them, uh, a god or gar goddess. Uh, it's really up to you. And my honored gar god is Poseidon, and his strength is fortitude. Now, when you reach this step, you are supposed to put a slash through the diamonds on the end. This PDF is not letting me do it, uh, but make sure that you add those slashes. Uh, these are your divine favor. Do not forget them. If you want to honor a god that's not listed as part of the 12, uh, you can talk to your Strife player about doing so. I would suggest, because you're just starting out with this game, that you work within the bounds of what the game gives you first. Once you're done with that, uh, you can take three more points and distribute them amongst the gods at the bottom. So I picked Conviction for Demeter, Ferocity for Ares, and Ares himself. Your options in the book consist of Apollo, Aphrodite, Ares, Hecate, Hera, Poseidon, Artemis, Athena, Demeter, Hephaestus, Hermes, and Zeus. Once you pick your divine favor, uh, then we get into your style, which is at the bottom. Your style is uh, the image of your character, physical and uh, outward uh, appearance, so how your character carries themselves. Uh, you want to focus on a few key features. If I would, I would suggest taking it's taking some time out to do this properly. I scribbled a couple things down just for the sake of this video. Then you're gonna do bonds when you're with an actual group of people. This is this is easier. You want to introduce your hero to all of the other players and vice versa. You want to tell them everything about your character, so their lineage, their pronouns, their names, etc. Then you would come over to the bonds side of the sheet. I don't know if we'll do. Uh, Adam, uh, I don't know, names off the top of my head, but you would put your bonds in on the right side, and then you would go into the book and decide if your hero is a demigod hero, or a mortal hero. If you're a demigod hero, you would record one bond with each other hero. And one bond with a divine ancestor. If you're a mortal hero, you would reco record two bonds with each other hero. So, instead of having like Selena here, we would just put Ares. Okay. Then you would decide leadership. Leadership is decided with a contest. Uh, you would put your heroes against a crisis that the Strife player has created. And then if you're the leader, you earn the right to put leader in your name. The leader ends up having the final say over how the heroes 
face the trials of the island. And during the voyage, which we'll cover in a later video, the leader will change. So this covers it for the first portion of Aegon. I know that I started Cypher System and we will get back to it. But Aegon's a little shorter and I have noticed a growing amount of people asking for uh, game suggestions involving Greek mythology. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, there are more to come. More Aegon videos are scheduled in the future.